Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm doing my nails with eyeshadow. This LA color coffin shaped nails I actually purchased from Didi's Dee discount. They usually have cheap press on nails. I went on a trip to my local Dollar Tree and I was and Stell M in fact surprised to find certain nail products. But in Dollar Tree I bought two beautiful eyeshadow palettes. A chrome nail powder, you guys. I did a double take when I saw this. It's a dollar twenty-five cents, guys. Wow. Okay, two cuticle oil, mango, and lavender scented pens, and I'm very excited to try them out. I am so surprised on how Dollar Tree has been expanding in nail products. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they start selling gel polish at some point. So I've used these press-ons before and I'll say I'm not a fan of this package. As you can see the lid snaps back down and any wrong movement while opening it can drop the nails and I'm actually quite guilty of doing just that. So the biggest nail sizes these nails go to is size 6 which is big for my smallest nail, my pinky. So I'm going to file it and actually I'm going to file all the nails so it can fit naturally near my cuticle area. So I'm using LA Color Pink Glue and because it is pink, of course the pink peeks through. To sharpen the coffin shape, I'm taking a file to crispen up the edges. Next, I'm applying a gel base coat. A base coat makes such a big difference. It helps the nail polish last, preventing from peeling the nail polish and I just think it helps having a smoother application. So now I'm taking a milky white gel. The thing with using eyeshadow is that it only works with a gel polish because it leaves that sticky layer for the eyeshadow to stick onto. Like I said, Dollar Tree does not have gel polishes. So if you're thinking of doing this eyeshadow method, you'll need gel polish because they won't work with regular nail polish. I am liking the nails already because of the pink glue. They're kind of giving very subtle baby boomer nails. And now for the eyeshadow palette, let me open them up. When I was at Dollar Tree, I didn't know what nail design to create. That is, until I saw these two beautiful eyeshadow palettes. And that's when my idea light bulb turned on. The colors remind me of the ocean and look at that seashell line. Yeah, so I have to create something of that ocean type nature. So I'm taking this teal color and focusing near the cuticle. Then moving on to the blue color, blending it with the teal and creating an ombre with the white, a gradient effect on the nails.
I find that this method, the eyeshadow method, is a much faster way to create an ombre look rather than using gel polish. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm going back to my thumb, bringing the ombre higher. It appears to be lower than the rest of the nails. So yeah, always double check your nails, making sure the ombre matches, the ombre height matches the rest of the nails. I'm sealing in the eyeshadow with top coat, making sure I cover the nails entirely because if I miss a spot, the eyeshadow will fall off and it's usually the side walls and near the cuticles where I need to make sure I have covered. And just to be on the safe side, I'm adding a second coat of top coat. For my ring nail, I'm adding some glitter. This I also got from Dollar Tree. I forgot to include it in the beginning of my mini haul. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree is stepping up their game with the nail products. Just look at that sparkle. So now I'm applying a second coat of top coat. And then I'm sprinkling some glitter. And then shaking off the excess. From here, I'll cure it so it can stay in place. And because the glitter is so fine and the gel polish is very thick, the gel top coat will encapsulate the glitter. And this was the real surprise. When I looked at these cuticle oils in Dollar Tree, I quickly grabbed them because soon there will be nothing on those shelves. Well, at least at my local Dollar Tree. I'm taking the mango cuticle oil and after reading the directions, yet still struggling to get the cuticle oil out, I finally managed to get it out and all I had to do was twist the top and because it's so new I had to twist it around a couple times and it smells amazing guys this is a 10 out of 10 and here are my nails they turned out great I'm so happy with all the items that I bought and look at that ombre oh my gosh it is so beautiful I am in awe and I'm obsessed. But that comes to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video. Until next time.